Hey now guys, welcome back to some more uh, Pokemon Yellow. In the last part we got our Pikachu and basically started our whole adventure. In this uh, part we are going to um, basically uh, get back to Viridian City. There's not really much else we can do on this route, and I'm going to, I'm going to, since I'm playing on an emulator, I can actually speed this up. This is actually the best part about, like, uh, this is actually the best part about playing Pokemon on an emulator, in my opinion. Because there are going to be some spots we're going to need to grind. Anyway, so if we go to the Pokemon Center, we to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Here that you have Pokemon. Okay, we'll need your Pokemon. You have Pokemon Fighting Fit. We hope to see you again. We check Pikachu's happiness. He's slightly less here, dude. This is the first Pokemon game to have happiness, so kinda that kinda that kinda gives it a legacy of its own. Anyway, so if we go to the Mart now that we've delivered uh Oak's parcel. We are going to uh buy a, we're gonna buy a few Pokeballs. We're gonna buy a few antidotes in case we get poisoned. And uh, I think that's all we can have for now. Anyway, so once we, uh, if we go up to this, uh, trio here now, uh, one thing about happiness is that, uh, walking will raise your Pikachu's happiness, leveling up will raise its happiness, fainting will decrease its happiness, and, like, um, vitamins, like, uh, will also, I think, decrease, increase its happiness. I don't know, I don't have to really look this up. Anyway, so we go to this row right here. The new Pokemon you can find here are both Nidoran and male and Nidoran and female. In red and blue, they were one was harder to find than the other, but in this game they're equally just easy to find. If I had a preference though, I'd say Nidoran and male is faster and more offensive. But they're both good po they're both solid Pokemon, and uh, they can learn fighting type moves in yellow, which they couldn't run blue. There's also Spearow, which I'd say is a better flying type than Pidgey, and um, there's also um, Mankey, which is, uh... Huh? Anyway, so, uh... We're actually... I'm actually going to try to catch this Pokemon, because we are going to need something to take out the first gem. I did not expect to get this on the first friggin' encounter. And so Mankey was caught. I did not expect to get it on the first encounter. We're gonna give a nickname Mankey. We're gonna give I thought of a good nickname. Once Mankey evolves, he becomes the the fastest fighting type in the game. That's a solid plus. I thought I'd name it Diddy Kong. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. So uh, I'm gonna grind quickly, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so now we're back. So, uh, I got my Diddy Kong, my Mankey, up to level 9, where it learned Low Kick. And I got my, uh, Pikachu up to level 10, where it learned Thunder Wave. Called Solid Moves. Anyway, so, uh, we are going to, uh, go over here. Whether or not you fight this Rival Bell, this an option Rival Bell, it also dictates what he evolves his Eevee into. Hey, Bear! You're in a Pokemon League? Forget it, you probably don't have any badges. The Garmin with Light, through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? He's gonna have a Spearow on his team at level 9, so yeah, this is why I recommend grinding. And we don't one-shot this, which is kind of lame. Anyway, so if we, uh, we're gonna, for the Eevee, we're gonna send out Diddy Kong. It's a solid Pokemon you can take out normal types in. The first gym leader is also Diddy Kong be helpful, and so we're gonna try and get him as much level as possible and while we miss. Wow, he's gonna spam sand attack. Yeah. Let's just say I don't exactly have the best Pokemon locker. Can I land a goddamn hit? Thank you. I don't even one shot this, which is also kinda lame. We defeated Gary. Huh, you just lucked out. 
I can close my lead as many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit your way to the move on. So we're checking my pinkies. He seems to like us much more, so uh yeah, all that walking and grinding that definitely helped. Okay, so now we're gonna go for we're gonna go a bit further north. north and we're going to a uh, Hilo Pokemon Pokemon Center before we go farther north. Ooh, so, um, if we go up north, there's going to be an old guy. This is one difference between Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, he's going to... He, you have, you're required to see this cutscene first off, you weren't in red and blue, but, um, he didn't do the catch tutorial, but, um, this is gonna prevent you from being able to do the missing or glitch in yellow, so, uh, yeah, this will be a very glitchless one. I won't even do the Mew glitch. That didn't work, I must be losing my touch. I run out of Pokeballs, too, I have to keep some, get some Pokemon. Maybe I'll do the Mew Glitch, but I'm definitely not doing the Missing Mew Glitch, because I can't mess. Anyway, so if we go here, no new Pokemon in this route, so, uh... If we go up here, let's see what they say. You have to root far to get a new kind of Pokemon. Look around the types outside of Viridian Forest. So yeah, these are, uh, Vir this is Viridian Forest. I came here with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. Anyway, so, uh, new Pokemon you can find here. You can find Caterpie, which is, uh, alright Pokemon. When it's a Butterfree, it can take out, it can help take out the first gym. The only thing you can't find in Yellow is Weedle or Kakuna. You can in Red and Blue, but not in Yellow. So, Yellow players definitely got screwed out of having a Beedrill, which Beedrill is definitely inferior to Butterfree, but still. But, like, um, Red and Blue, you can find a Pikachu here. And, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, red and blue you can find a Pikachu here, but not in yellow. And in, only in yellow you can find Pidgeotto. The evolved form of Pidgey. Maybe you just catch it as a Pidgey, but, um, because it isn't, like, um... But if you're gonna get, like, a... If you're gonna try to get, like, a Butterfree, I would personally recommend catching it as a Caterpie over a Metapod, because when it's a Metapod, all it knows is hard in. We're gonna try to see if we can get Pikachu up a couple levels. Pikachu is gonna be the Pokemon, it's gonna be a team member, but it's gonna be a Pokemon with overall worse stats since we can't possibly evolve this, and I'll get into this later. But like, um, yeah, it's gonna be our, it's gonna be our Pokemon with the worst stats, so it's gonna be Pokemon, I'm definitely going to, um, try to get some, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get some evol evolutions into. Look what I can do with Emulator. And we got it to level 11, we got it to learn, we're, it's trying to learn Quick Attack, which, um, we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of Growl. And we're gonna get our Mankey up, we're gonna get our Mankey up at levels, because we need this to take out the first gym. I did not mean to speed that up, but, uh... Anyway, so, uh, Bugcatcher wants to fight, and Bugcatcher sent out Metapod. So, yeah, this thing's definitely gonna get us up, because trainer battles are also, they're also higher in amount of XP. The level 6 Metapod, I should give it that. Yeah, see, this, all this thing's gonna know is hard, and so, yeah, like I said, catch it as a Caterpie. It's gonna be a, is this gonna be a level six happy? Yeah, so it's one level away from being a metapod, so it is kinda sad. But at the same time the trainer was able to own a level six metapod, so maybe he caught it in the wild, I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this.
And did he come here to level 10? And so we metapod, we'll just get the XP boost. Okay, so I'm gonna try to- I'm gonna fight as many required trainers as possible, but, uh, any ones that aren't required, I'll just skip. We found a potion. Now, uh, if you're playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, I think there'll be a, uh, trainer up here, but there isn't since we're playing the original Gen 1 games. Alright, now we got- Alright, now we got those encounters. This trainer will not be there in red and blue. It's gonna be a bug catcher. This bug catch this particular bug catcher will not be there in red and blue, but it will be in yellow. The reason I'm not using low kick is because bug types are resistant to fighting. Metapod. Maybe this will get up another level. And this Metapod knows string shots, so yeah, definitely something other than Harden. I guess that's an improvement, improvement from red and blue, and she's using Harden. Did he conquer to level 11? I mean, if you have Bug Catcher, which, uh, I'm gonna try to see. Let's check, uh, my Pikachu stats. Yeah, I'll try to get this one. I don't think- I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it up one more level, but, uh, we could try to. Because we're gonna have a lot of wild encounters. We can't get repelled for this part of the game. So, now I got that out. Can I finish a goddamn sentence? Alright, here we go. And we got this trainer. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? And Bugcatcher wants to buy a Bugcatcher Center Caterpie. A level 10 Caterpie. That should be a Butterfree by this point. Though it's, it's it, though facing a bar for this point in the game definitely not ideal. If you have bug catcher, how close is my Pikachu to a level up? I think it's like maybe halfway there. Yeah, it's about 126. So uh, I think I'll grind off screen in between parts. Alright, now we got that out of our system. So, uh... You know, we made it out of Viridian Forest, so, uh, next time on Pokemon Yellow, also known as Pokemon on this route, but, um, also next time on Pokemon Yellow, we are going to, uh, explore Vermilion City. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.